Hold on to your butts. Here's your look at the Chronicle Collectibles Jurassic Park T-Rex statue. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the classic film Jurassic Park, Chronicle Collectibles creates a smaller scale T-Rex, which is perfect for your desk or office. Providing you all the 411 you can handle, we'll first start having a look by taking the measurements for the T-Rex. So I'm going to start it from the snout and I'm going to work my way all the way to the back of its tail. And it's about there actually, stopping the Ultra Measuretron right there. From its snout to the end of its tail, it's exactly 12 inches long. Not bad at all. Now we're going to switch that back over to inches. And then we're going to figure out how tall it is. So I'm going to take it to the very top of its hind legs. I think that is its highest point. And so that you guys can see how high the statue is. The tape measure once again tells us 4.4 inches tall, which in centimeters, centimeters works out to be 11.3 centimeters tall. The T-Rex, the T-Rex, I should say, comes perched atop of a really nice Jurassic Park stand. Cast and painted primarily all in gold. They've done a great job of little dry brushing areas in here so that areas the foreground stands out. Equally so for the Jurassic Park logo, which as you can see is raised and elevated. You probably can't see it as much stepping over top of itself essentially. The paw is covering over the classic famous Jurassic Park logo, which you can see the skeletal remains of old T-Rex there. And it's really neat the way that they've got the statue, like I said, perched on top of that. I like also that it's got a step platform to it, not really just being the first part here. It gives it a more like a museum pose to it, like a more museum presentation, almost as if it's sitting on top of like a placard or a giant, like I said, monumental kind of statued base here. Uh, if we flip it upside down, and there's the underside right there. You can see treated to a full felt underside. It's actually not quite felt. It feels more like foam, like a foam padding here. We've got Jurassic Park T-Rex down below. Chronicle Collectibles further down from there. And once again, a little bit more easier to see is the Jurassic Park logo featured on the top. Chronicle Collectibles, as you know, produces a wide range of dinosaur-themed statues from the various Jurassic Park films. Ones ranging in size from the very smallest to the very largest. There's been even like busts, giant bust statues that they've done of some of the various T-Rexes. Uh, this one here is a much smaller. If not anything, you could probably say it's one of the smallest that they've produced. One thing I do really like about that is by scaling it down to a much more space affordable size means that you can really put this anywhere. In contrast to that, the larger T-Rex that we had a look at before that's breaking through the escape fence, the little barrier fence, is a big, big piece. A big piece that really does occupy and demand a lot of space. This, in a contrast to that, takes up very little space. In fact, there's my hand right there. There's the T-Rex on top of it. And though I'm not going to be walking around the house with a T-Rex statue perched atop of my hand, it hopefully does give you a size idea of just how exactly big this is. Even though it is really a smaller statue, you can see all the care and detail have still been put into it as they would have put into a larger scaled dinosaur. The T-Rex looks fantastic. 
she obviously has an opposing presence in the film, and of course that translated to statue is not always the most successful feat. Here I think they've done a really bang up job on it. The mouth is a very pale presentation. I'd have to actually go back and look at the film again to see if the tongue and the inner area of the mouth is actually as pale as it comes across. I mean, of course, that is the lightest area of the dinosaur. The rest of the T-Rex is adorned here in creams, browns, there's even some darker browns here as well, and of course the T-Rex's trademark striping running down the spine section here and into the tail. One of her smallest details, of course, is her eyes, but luckily the eyes are as bright of a yellow as they are in the film, so they do stand out against the backdrop of the otherwise dark areas of the spotting around the eyes. The teeth aren't sharp. Um, I do feel, though, that if there's anything that could potentially break on the statue, it likely would be T-Rex's teeth, so mindful of that. Um, it's not an overly heavy statue. I mean, again, if you... It's scaled by its size, of course, by it being a smaller statue. It's not going to be all that heavy either as well. Uh, loving the detailing also that they put into the hands. Uh, a few, let me just spin it around to the back. Uh, there we go. The claws painted here in black. Some of those smaller ones got missed a little bit on the back there. You don't see that the black is covered completely around both of the claw, the fingers, the actual little claws there. Um, but still, from the front, you're not going to see it as much. The feet get, I think, the most generous amount of paint. A lot more of the brown and the darker color added to the foot portion, by contrast to, like, like I said, the rest of the body. Um, I don't know if how well it's transitioned, as you can see. The primary of the body, most of the body, has a lot of smooth transitions. The darker colors to the lighter colors, you can kind of see how it's gradually blended. Unfortunately, down by the feet, though, it's just got this abrupt, darker color. I wish that that had just been transitioned a little bit better to the back of the hind legs here. They've got her posed in a rather familiar stance of her leaning forward, with most of the weight being then offset by the tail at the back there. Um, really, again, love the expression. Well, I don't even want to say expression for a dinosaur, but I love the famous mouth open that they've got for T-Rexes. Generally, whenever a statue of T-Rex is released, nine times out of ten, usually the mouth is already open. It's not as exciting and slightly underwhelming when you have the mouth closed shut. And luckily, Chronicle Collectibles, when they decided to make a smaller baby T-Rex, if you will, opted to go with the more famous mouth open. Again, just love the details that they've added to this. The scaling there on the side, sort of much like an elephant hide as it carries its way across. You can see the looser areas of the under gullet of its neck, where more of the flaps of the skin sit a little on the looser side versus the tighter nature of the top of the spine here. And then as we flip upside down, just trying to get the camera underneath all of that, you can see how, again, you've got slightly looser skin of course, much more muscular around the areas, the strength in the thighs of its hind legs here. Like I said, the benefit of a statue this size is it caters to collectors that always wanted Chronicle collectible statues, the exquisite detail that they put into their pieces, but they just couldn't afford the space to put them all out. This is one that's small enough. Like I said, you could put this on an office desk. You could put this on a small shelving, maybe in a room. It doesn't take up as much space doesn't command as much space as, say, some of the other Chronicle releases. Spectacular as they are, some people just don't have space for them, myself included. So a, a dinosaur this small, T-Rex this size, is perfect for collectors that need a collectible like this, and like I said, just don't have the space for it. Now, additionally adding some 411 here in Final Looks, this T-Rex statue from Chronicle Collectibles is a Think Geek exclusive. In other words, if you guys are looking to pick this one up for yourself, you can head on over to www.thinkgeek.com and you can currently pick it up. It's in stock right now for $64.99, so about $65. Like I said, you get all the benefits of the larger scale Chronicle collectible releases in a smaller scale, a smaller format. I think they've done a bang up job on it. Some of the paint, unfortunately, looks a little muddy down by the foot area, but I guess you could chalk that up to the way it's walking through the mud. 
That would explain why its feet, for example, are a little dirtier than the rest of its body. Overall, I'm really, really happy with this piece. And like I said, if you are interested in picking this one up for yourself, it's an exclusive over at Think Geek. Today we were having a look at the Jurassic Park 25th anniversary. This was the Jurassic Park T-Rex small statue. I feel the need to say small, but you probably already get that idea. Want to check out some more Chronicle collectible statue or other collectible reviews that I've done on this channel? There's a whole Chronicle collectibles, that's a mouthful, playlist on this channel you can check out and watch at your viewing pleasure. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos also will be coming soon to this channel. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.